Now, here's meteorologist T.J. Del Santo with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, if you're headed out this evening to buy a Powerball ticket, you might encounter a little bit of drizzle, but nothing terribly serious. The real storminess will arrive during the daytime tomorrow, actually arriving during the morning tomorrow. Live Pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. I'm not tracking anything out there at the moment. It's nice and dry. I expect it to remain uh, mostly dry. There'll be some occasional drizzle and mist developing throughout the evening, uh, but that's about it. Nothing heavy. High wind watch in effect for these areas in yellow here. Maybe mainly in the Providence area and areas on off to the south and east. We could be seeing wind gusts tomorrow from the southeast up to 55 miles an hour. That could lead to some trees and power lines coming down. Uh, and as a result, we could be looking at some uh, scattered power outages for tomorrow. The winds actually will start picking up tomorrow morning and they'll remain strong into tomorrow evening. So our threat tracker for tonight staying at that low level tomorrow, obviously going up to the medium level during the day tomorrow. Uh, kind of pay attention. We could be looking at some really strong winds and some very heavy rain that might get elevated to severe tomorrow on Monday. For now, it's low, but uh, it's possible that could even go up to the medium level only because we're looking at the possibility for some icing in the morning. Live pictures from Narragansett. It got a bit of a breeze there. We got dry skies though. Dry skies in Providence as well. Temperature down in westerly 44. They've got a wind from the northeast at six miles an hour, making it feel a little bit cooler. Upper 30s in Smithfield, 43 Providence, 44 in Newport over in uh, southeastern Mass, Taunton, New Bedford in the low to mid 40s. Satellite radar picture showing fairly quiet conditions here in southern New England. A few showers here and there, but in general, it's uh, pretty dry across southern New England. Where is this storm? It's out here across the middle part of the country, lined up from Michigan down into Kentucky and Tennessee. This is all going to be working its way into southern New England. Let's take a look at it with our future cast. We're going to stop right here, 7 o'clock in the morning. A couple of showers developing late in the night. We'll see the heavier rain start to come in uh, after about 7 o'clock or so. Notice we're seeing occasional very heavy uh, uh, downpours working through the area. Maybe a few rumbles of thunder tomorrow, even four o'clock in the afternoon. We're still looking at some periods of heavy rain and then we'll just see some lighter showers coming to an end between seven and eight o'clock. So for tonight, we are looking at uh, fairly quiet conditions, a little drizzle and mist here and there with clouds thickening up temperatures for the most part holding steady in the lower 40s for tomorrow. We'll be seeing rain possibly heavy at times, maybe a few flashes of lightning, some strong wind gusts up to 55 miles an hour from a uh, that should be saying uh, southeast. Here's your future cast, a seven day future cast. We're looking at that heavy rain tomorrow. Uh, whoop, where do we go? <laughs> Let's take a look back at that seven day forecast and we are looking at uh, some heavy rain to develop during the daytime tomorrow. We could be seeing uh, some uh, uh, winds of 55 miles an hour, some rainfall of one to two inches, some localized street flooding is possible. And yes, that's some snow on Tuesday. That looks like it'll develop uh, during the uh, evening on Tuesday and some small accumulations are possible. But after tomorrow, we're looking at some cold weather throughout the uh, uh, next six days after tomorrow. Tomorrow, we can actually break a record high as well. Wow, that computer really likes the uh, virtual city, by the way. It loves it. Loves it. TJ, thank you. Coming up in sports, Eyewitness News.